friends and welcome back to But First Coffee, where life begins after coffee, and welcome back to the blog corner. If you've been around But First Coffee for a while, you might remember the setup. I had it set up at my old house as a place to like YouTube and to blog, and then we moved to this house and I just never set it up for some reason. So nine months later I decided it was time. I just like, it's like a normal gestation period. No? I don't know, it's just I was being lazy. Today we are having another battle of the drugstore beauty products and we are going to be battling out matte lipsticks. Well matte lip products, because I have a little bit of a variety for you. Now, when I go to do my battles, just so you guys know, I take the top three most requested products from my YouTube comments, and then I go out into the world of social media and I ask you guys to vote this time around. I did it on Snapchat. So if you want to help out in choosing which product we are going to battle out in our next battle, make sure you leave a comment down below with what you would like to see. And then make sure you're following me on social media so when I pick one of the top three, y'all can see it and you can vote and you can have your input. But let's just go ahead and jump into what we came here for. And that is Battle of the Drugstore Matte Lipsticks, round one. First into the ring we have Maybelline's Lip Studio Color Blur, which is $9 and claims to give a cream matte finish. It's double sided with a pencil on one end and a rubber smudger on the other end. And the idea is that you can get more intense color or use the smudger to sort of blur out the edges for a more soft look. I tried it with both the rubber end and just the pencil end and honestly I don't really get the rubber end. I find it to be kind of unsanitary. I also just didn't really notice a huge difference as opposed to when I did it one way or the other. Either way the product sets quite quickly and it feels powdery and matte but surprisingly not uncomfortable. The wear is pretty good. It lasts pretty well. It holds the shape of your lips for quite a few hours, but after maybe the three hour mark, if you look at your lips really up close, you can see that it has faded and it's a little see-through. It still looks good, but it's a point to consider. Overall, it's a nice little product. It wears pretty well. It's comfortable, and it is a true-to-form matte finish. Next up, we have L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is $9 and claims to be a high impact matte gloss. It comes with their Pro Sculpt applicator, which personally I really enjoy these type of applicators for high intensity colors. I find it really easy to apply with them. The formula is super pigmented and creamy and it applies really comfortably. I don't know if I'd really consider this a matte finish. Even after 10 to 15 minutes, it still kind of looks on the glossy side. The downside for this guy was the stain power. I noticed after maybe an hour or two, maybe two and a half to three hours, it started to feather, which is literally my biggest pet peeve with lipsticks is feathering. Like if it fades, that's fine, you can touch it up, but when it feathers, it's like forget it, it's done. You, there's nothing you can do. I know I could probably have used it with a lip pencil and it would be fine, but I'm lazy and I would much rather find a lip product where I just can just put it on and I don't have to use a lip pencil. The color and the pigmentation on this is really pretty. I think it looks really nice, so if you only need something for maybe a couple hours and you don't plan on doing any eating or drinking, then this is okay. Otherwise, it just was kind of a fail for me. I hated that it feathered, it kind of blurred off, and not to mention, I just didn't really consider it a matte product, in my opinion. There is a bug in here. Oh, that's, that's a big bug. Okay. Well, you just stay over there. I'll stay over here. And um, just go about your day, my friend. Next into the ring, we have the NYX Matte Lipstick. This is just a good old-fashioned lipstick tube. It costs $6 and claims for a velvety matte finish that will stay put. I also sadly dropped mine, so it's a little smushed on the edge. Rest in peace. So the color for this applies easily and opaque pretty much in one swipe. It sets after a few minutes to a soft matte finish. I don't know if it's the most matte lip product out there, but it's definitely not glossy or shiny by any means. The wear of this lipstick is heavenly. The stuff just lasts and lasts and lasts and goes nowhere. It stays put. It looks amazing. I am kind of obsessed with this. So overall, I think this is just a great lipstick period, but also an amazing matte lipstick. Not to mention that this comes in like a buttload of colors, so there's tons of options. Next up is CoverGirl's Katie Cat Matte Lipstick. I believe that's the name. It's their newest range. It was a collaboration with Katy Perry, and they cost $9. It claims to be a demi-matte lipstick that is going to stay put. A demi-matte is like it's not fully matte, but it's not glossy or shiny. It's sort of in between. This color slides on nicely and is really comfortable on the lips. It is true to form in the sense that it is a demi-matte finish like it says it's going to be. The wear of these is okay. It doesn't fade right away or feather or smudge, but I was wishing for just a little bit more longevity with this color. After wearing it through eating and drinking, I maybe had it on for four and a half hours or so. I would have had to touch it up. I mean, it's not the worst, but it is one of those lipsticks that you do kind of have to like be aware and touch it up. 
Very last into the ring, we have Revlon's HD, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This is $9 and claims to offer lightweight color that is high definition. The product comes with a doe foot applicator. Like I said, I really like to use these kind of applicators. I find that I can be much more precise with them. The color is super intense and easy and comfortable to apply. And after a few minutes, it sets on your lips to more of a velvety matte finish. Not 100% matte by any means, but it's not glossy or shiny. The product, in my opinion, is extremely comfortable to wear and it lasts forever. I actually own three of these and I am obsessed with them. I've worn these so many times and they're like my ride and dies right now. I wore this to my bridal shower and people were coming up to me. My bridal shower was at a vineyard so we were like drinking wine and we had lunch and people were like how has that lipstick not come off of your lips and it was just this. So it's safe to say that I absolutely adore this lip product. I think that they are the bomb. Oh also they smell and taste sort of like mango so that's a plus. Alright guys that does it for all five contenders let's talk about the winners. If I were going to choose my favorites out of these two I think it might be a little bit obvious it is the Revlon and the NYX. You cannot go wrong with either of these they are the best and I love them so much. I love you and I love you too. But that does it for today's video and this battle. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Before you go, make sure that you leave me a comment with what product you would like to see me battle next time. It really helps me when I am deciding what I'm going to battle out next. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.